hi hopefully all of you are doing good sorry i could not able to post anything in recent past as uh, i was having some health issues so so let's continue in this video so in this particular video what we'll talk about is how to deploy our this plotly deep learning app into google cloud platform okay so what we'll be doing is in the google cloud so we will be basically deploying our app as a container in the google cloud run okay and we will see what are, what are the different processes are and how to do it and to do this one so basically what you need is you need a google cloud account now if you are doing it first time so uh, you will get 300 dollar credit but if you already consume that one but still you can use google cloud run because based on like how many times we are accessing it it will be charged according to that right so i have created this youtube project for this one and this is the project id so you have to keep in mind this one so this id is needed whenever we will be trying to deploy this app into google cloud run and let us talk about the different things you need to achieve this now first of all the first thing you need is a requirement.txt so where like all the different dependent packages you are using like the dash dash core components right if you see it like i have created created this list over here so you can do the same stuff by using the pif freeze command right now once we have created this requirement dot txt file the second thing you need is is the google cloud cli so according to your environment you have to use uh, basically you have to install this google cloud cli from this website so i will just i'll just i'll just give this link in my video description as well so that you can go and download it uh, this one as i am using windows so i have installed it using this exe file already so once you have installed it so you can find it through google cloud sdk cell so this is the one it will come up okay now there are a couple of commands we will be using to deploy this particular app in the google cloud right but, but before that we have to create some docker file so that we can deploy it as a container and those commands if you want to run so you need to authenticate as well so if you are not already authenticated it will ask you for authentication automatically when you will run those commands but as i am already authenticated so it may not asking me for that one right so whenever it is asking you for the authentication it will just you will it will just go to that normal google authentication you will do it there it will open in browser and from there you, you will just authenticate it okay uh, so let us first concentrate on creating the docker file first then we will try to deploy it and we have to make another changes in our app.py as well so we cannot directly keep the run server so what we have to do is let's make this change first okay so to give a host and port name okay so in the after debug you can keep either debug equals to true or false based on your need so first what i'll do is i will just go ahead with false one this one okay so then there will be a host which we have to give 0, .0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 and there will be a port as well so let's give the port as 8080 here okay so this is the app.py file change we have to do now in your project main folder where we have this app.py and index.py so let's let's uh, first stop this particular local app now so the same fold uh, same place where you have this app.py in the it is in the main project file right so we will create a new file here so what we'll do is so this is the option for creating a new file so we will say docker file this is the standard way of deploying the docker uh, basically the container based application using docker right so you have to remember that the d should be in capital over here so once we created the docker file so the code over here will basically determine how this app will be installed over there okay so i as i already developed the docker file so what i'll do is i will try to 
explain it in this this way so first thing is if you see the first line what i have written is from python 3.10 right so that means it will basically from this python it will basically install that python 3.10 over here okay so it will it will start from there now second thing is we have to define an environment variable called app dot home which will basically have that slash app as your main app dot home path right it will be in that container path slash app and then we have to basically set the working directory which is nothing but the environment variable just now we have set it over here then we have to copy our all the files over there right so we will copy over there then we have to install the dependent packages there right to run to successfully run our app over there right so that's why we have created this requirement dot txt over here right so as we are copying this file so this requirement dot txt also will be getting copied over there so it can run this pip install from there correct and after that we have to expose this port 8080 which we set it up over here in the, in our app.py correct and then we have to just just like we are running locally right our app.py this is the this is the starting point when we are running locally right so that also we are doing it over here as well from python using that python command we are just running this our app.py if index.py is your starting point you will be running you will be giving the command as command python index.py similar stuff okay so very easy this docker file creation so we have all our dependencies like the docker file the requirement.txt the app.py changes right also we have installed that google cloud sdk shell which is required to run some commands now let us talk about the commands over here so there are two things you need one is first thing is you have to build your app so this is the command over here and as you can see it like this is very easy one so one thing you have to know in this command is what is your project id as you can see it here in my google cloud this is my project id so that is what i am using it over here rest of the stuffs will be same everywhere wherever you i have my own project id you will be replacing that with your own project id here okay with the project details so this is the one to build the app and then we will be deploying it even here also the same google using this command google cloud g cloud run deploy here also wherever i have our project my project id you have to replace it with your project id and for now we will just allow unauthenticated access in future we will try to see how to basically integrate the google authentication as well over here so let us open the google cloud shell okay so i have it open it over here and try to run this build command google g cloud builds one okay so whenever there are some issues over here it will automatically give you a link where you can see the logs okay so that you can see it and check it like wh what what is happening over here now it is saying like docker file required for them because i am in a different path over here right so i have to go to my application path which is basically this where is this particular folder is then i have to run this one right so currently i am running it from from this path plotly deep learning app so this is my github git basically repository so what i'll do is i'll copy this path so first i will go to d drive then i will go to this particular path over here okay then i will run this one run this particular build command so here i have the docker file already created just now we created right so let us wait for the build to be completed it may take certain amount of time so we will wait for this one as you can see the logs are available over here so you can you can check it out and if you see it like once the deployment is done so you should be getting a status equals to success so there should not be any error over here so we have successfully built the app so the now the next step is to deploy it to the cloud right using this g cloud run deploy method we deploy fun basically command over here so we will be running this this command now over here 
so let's let's copy this one copy and we will be paste it over here so if if everything we have done correctly so this should be uh, creating a container and which should be up and running over here so it will ask you for the service name which i will just select the same coastal selector okay and you have to give the region as well for now i'll just give asia south over here okay so once we do that it will it will be basically deploying that app as a container now so once everything is done we should be getting a success message over here as well if there is any error it will give you that error as well you, we need to see it and fix it accordingly and if you see it like once it the deployment is done it will basically give you this one deployment is done and also it will, it will give you the url where this particular app is running right so let us let us copy this particular url and if i see it here now so you should be seeing our plotly deep learning app over here and should be working as expected whatever functionality till now we have built it should be working as is as you can see it like it, it successfully rendered our home page as well and if i just go to how neural network learns page so if you remember like we have developed these two pie charts right and also we have developed this drill down functionality where if you click on any of this sector over here so correspondingly that particular digit will be random selected from the training data set or test data set and it will show up over here as well right so so it is working fine so we basically successfully deployed our plotly deep learning app into google cloud run by using a docker file over here okay from next video onwards we will try to build more features onto this particular app so hopefully this video was helpful see you in the next video